Well, I'll bring it on over to Dave Wiederzak over here. Dave Wiederzak and Ethan and Caitlin, uh, they are uh, going to show you this robot. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Rolling Meadows High School. How are you? I love the purple, by the way. Oh, love the purple. <laughs> yes, I heard this is your school color. It is. Of course, I planned that. Yes. <laughs> of course. So, uh, as Anthony and Omar had just explained to you, we have uh, several engineering projects going on here. And one is the high mileage car, but also Ethan and Caitlin are going to talk to you a little bit in a moment about uh, our robot rumble project that we have. And students each year at our school and district-wide build robots, so we have a big event in February. And students start in October and they build a robot. Like you see here, here's one that actually, you know, we save. And these robots are destructive. Uh, some of them come with weapons, some of them are just pusher bots. But as a teacher and administrator here in our district, we want kids to build. And Anthony had said earlier, we want to apply that STEM. We want to engage those students in possible careers and experience the real situation before they graduate. And that's led for uh, led to our, even our apprenticeships and job skills after you know they complete projects like that. They're ready for industry. They're ready for work-based work learning. So this is one robot we have. Uh, and I'm going to let Ethan and Caitlin talk to you a little bit more about that. All right, so this thing right here, uh, it's life started out in fusion, so it's a 3D modeling program. Um, you, as you said, you have three options. So it's like a mixture of pusher and weapon, weapon or pusher. This one's a pure weapon bot. So this thing's about 20% of its weight and its max weight would be around 80 or so pounds. And you've got two minutes per bout to fight against other bots from other schools. And uh, I mostly hit mechanic last uh -huh. year. So what I did was all the damage that you see, all the repairs, that was me and one other person uh -huh. doing that effect. And on Fusion, you've got the 3D modeling itself, and now you've got to translate it into real life. So you've got prototyping, you've got seeing if this works or not, seeing if your tolerances are right, see if, if this ever gets hit, will it get stuck. Uh, we learned a lot from this bot because this was a pretty tight tolerance bot. We learned that you really can't have um, too tight of a tolerance because once it gets hit, you get stuck. But still pulled out a win with one of our other successful bots. This was still a great opportunity for our robotics program here. And I'll be looking forward to doing it again this year. Let's start back That's out. That's great. That's great. Um, I started bots this year, so I've only been in like two classes after school. But um, just so far, it's been like really problem solving. And it's actually, like, like Ethan says, like thinking ahead and making sure that everything would react the way you wanted it to. So it's definitely a great thing. Are there many females in the program? I, there's one other thing. Mm, we gotta get more, right? We, we are, and, and I'm, great, I'm glad you mentioned that. We have had, uh, in the last five years, an influx of, of young ladies wanting to enter not only engineering and manufacturing, but our graphics department and our uh -huh. other male-typically driven uh, programs yeah. over the years. So we're very happy for, for students like Caitlin and others that are starting to go further with this. And, and a lot of that is also due to Anthony and his partner's work with uh, a sixth, seventh, eighth grade program where we recognize students early on to get them interested and give them access to these programs. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, we're very fortunate here in this lab to have the machinery and the technology to yeah, do these projects. It's amazing. It, it's a phenomenal lab. Oh, yeah. How does that work? Do they have wheels and it just kind of rams into another robot? Yeah, it's, it's drive uh, style is tank style. So as you move two of those sticks there, mm -hmm. uh, one wheel independent would move the same way you move those sticks and there are gliders on the bottom so there's not actually like a front wheel uh -huh. and then you push it towards the bot and if your if your weapon goes down you'll be classified as a pusher push that bot into the corner into like a spinning drum and try and destroy it i think the congressman wants to play with it i think that's yeah. what he's asking <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, if, you're gonna oh, yeah. if it's all right you start up and yeah. you want to drive We'd love all right let's do this oh wow all right, we'll put you over here just a little bit. I'm going to start it up for you in just a moment. There's a lot of them. You have to say hi to them. All right, so why don't you gently move it? Because we also compete in the We normally don't compete in 
in settings like this. So if we could be gentle here, we'd appreciate it. So tank drive style, two forward means two forward. So both two forward means and two back. And then opposite of each other would make it turn the weight. And vice versa. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Then easy. That easy. Well, you know I haven't driven in a while. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Make it spin. Right press. 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 There we go. Oh, okay. There you go. We'll point you forward. Okay, now I have to do it this way. Right? Oh, no, no, no. No, forward. no, no, no. Yeah, the other side. Oh, it be oh. Pretend. So normally we have the weapon out for you, but we took that off the face and we're not in a secure position. But that's. So but that's I could use it thing. maybe in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it to the museum. Yeah, there you go. All right. Ethan, you want to give a little bit of direction? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Joystick drives the wheel. So if one wheel goes, so that right is specifically allocated for the right wheel and the same to the left. And there we go. So doing it at the same time would make it. I know, it's counterintuitive because it's coming towards you so you think Right, and that's there where some of the students work on the logic of programming, speed, balance, and they have that experience with some computer logic. So, 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 gentle. so gentle. You guys are so gentle. You succeed the kids right by. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> She's giving out pedicures. Like hey. <laughs> she come back in February yeah, so for the competition. We'll start to yeah, that's like, yeah, <laughs> they have a all big robotics contest in the south. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I've been there a couple of times. You know, this, this works. Uh, this, uh, this looks structurally sound. Uh, uh, then you bring it to life. You start making, cutting out all the segments that... So whatever the computer does, it'll give you your measurement. So you come out here, you cut your parts, and you put it together. So you don't have to do much manual measuring. How strong is the computer? How strong is it? Is that the device? Like if you have two well-built robots, well -built what, what type of damage can be done to that right now? You can destroy it. Mm -hmm. We had a cart that we tested on, and that weapon on its own blew it up. I'm going to take two cars. I left the hole in it. Two <laughs> weapons, uh, two bots like this, but yeah. tear each other yeah. apart until you uh, destroy the weapon mm -hmm. itself or maybe a battery. Yeah. So, so the core of the machine, the core of the machine can, can, can be used for other things too, other than the battery watch. Other things like lifting, carrying, lifting, carrying, with the explosives and electronics. So you can program those. It's a basic gun. Yeah. Same, same idea. Same idea. Same idea. Yeah. People can't get it. Yeah. yeah. There's motors, there's a battery source, and then there's a logic source that they bring together and to complete okay. a task. Yeah. You cool. want to try? Somebody else want to try? I was getting out of your way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, I got in at 7 this morning. We practiced. <laughs> <laughs>